Real politique. Although I have heard this pronounced real politique as well. Okay, this is an uncountable noun. Let's see, this talks about pragmatism in politics. Um, making decisions in politics um, based on what the country needs, what is real on the situation, rather than uh, being guided by uh, moral principles or party guidelines. is So, real politique, this is doing what is uh, needed, yeah, what is best for the state. So, being pragmatic in government policies, being very pragmatic. Um, so, you, taking into account the real situation, yeah, rather than um, acting ideologically, acting practically, yeah, not thinking about ethics, but thinking about the, the, the best way of resolving this problem. Now, real politique is very often used positively or neutrally. Um, so, I, I think maybe Charles de Gaulle in France, uh, he is a, was a proponent of real politique. But notice, this word can also be used in a very negative way, saying Machiavellian. Um, you are uh, using policies that are coercive that are designed to manipulate people into doing what you want. So, this would be Machiavellian. Um, try, try, trying to uh, use tricks and things like that in order to get what you think is best for the state. So, notice real, real politique can be both positive and negative. Um, I think maybe Henry Kissinger is a proponent of was a proponent of real politique as well. Okay, so this is it's. Um, I think most commonly it's being realistic. Yeah, um, particularly in international relations. Yeah, um, it, it's doing things that are going to achieve your results, no matter if they are uh, in agreement with your ideology or not. Yeah, um, so this is mm, looking at uh, what, is re what is real, what can really be um, achieved, rather than um, uh, just trying to... Uh, impose what you what what you think is um the ideological the theoretical perfect I idea um let's see as to origin um this was first coined by um ludwig von rochau who was a german writer in the politician and politician in the 19th century um, and he used the principles of real politique to the state of affairs of Germany and what they needed to do to make the situation better. Okay, so real politique, uh, being uh, realistic about a situation, trying things that people will accept and believe rather than uh, force uh, than um, uh, forcing on them an ideology, but notice it can, real politique can also be considered Machiavellian and uh, very negative, being ruthlessly realistic and opportunist, yeah, rather than moralistic. So. Um, getting people to do to do what is necessary no matter how you do it um i think bismarck was also um somebody who was a, a proponent of real politique as well maybe uh in the more machiavellian sense so yeah expedient instead of ethical yeah um 
what what is going to work so let's see formality real politic hmm I think I'm going to give it 6.5 informality I think you could use it in a semi-formal conversation I think informally I would just say realist realist politics um, use it in a semi-formal conversation semi-formal or formal writing and then as to origin well as I said it comes from German uh, Realpolitik and coined by Ludwig von Rochau so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye for now realpolitik